Toyo Asin Vitsin are just some of the ingredients that bring color, flavor, and umami to your food. Cebu's very own all-time favorite Cebu Chinese Moyo. Cebuanos need no introduction to this place. Let's go. Come with me. Heyo. A quick fact about this place is that they have been in operation since the 90s. Do take note that they are closed on Sundays and holidays. Upon entering, you need to write your name and your order on a piece of paper and give it to the counter. Moving on to the counter, you can see pickled papaya. You have there some crab meat. That's fresh lumpia. Innards. Empanada. Chicharron flour. Longaniza. The star of the show, the ngoyong. The Chinese ngoyong. And they have shomai. One of my favorite, stuffed egg, and barbecue. Yummy! Now on the side are the price list of the items and some lottery numbers. Your 5 bucks here will go a long way and is sure to get you stuffed. Ladies! Here I am submitting my order. and two stuffed egg. See how beautiful that is? Now with the Chinese moyong, you have to have their special sauce. It's a combination of spicy and salty. So when you eat with your hands, same thing applies. The three-step method of pick, dip, and eat. Here we go. That first bite, the crunch, the taste of is made out of heart of palm, spices, wrapped, and fried. Woo! I've heard of college students living off on cup ramen noodles. Here in Cebu, Cebuanos live off on this. Woo! You cannot have moyong by itself. It has to go with its sauce. One without the other, no good. Another must try is their stuffed egg. Woo! If you're here in Cebu, you're on a budget, and then there's just one thing that you gotta try it's moyo. And that ends my Chinese moyo food experience. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did enjoy this video, Please like and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have questions, comments, and suggestions, please write them down below. Always remember, life is not a straight line, but a zigzag. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, but always keep moving forward.